And what is up everyone back at it again with another a jungle in-depth video this one's gonna be dying a jungle and i've been loving dying a jungle if you're not playing dying a jungle after the buffs you're wasting your time she is broken she's so good and she's not that difficult to play and i'm gonna teach you the best build one of the best builds and the easiest way to learn how to play her <laughs> so for starters dying a jungle super fast first clear if you're not full clearing on her you're kind of missing out with how quick it is you can start red with a leech or you can solo raptors this game mr toad over here is probably gonna leash me if he does then we start q and we're gonna start on red buff so general jungle pathing it, it's relatively flexible i'm guessing olaf right olaf's not really a challenge for me you know he's he's sort of like a full clear jungler too if i'm against like an invade jungler maybe like a graves or a kindred i'm more concerned about maybe getting invaded on like my blue but this game we don't have to worry about that so what we do is just we just farm and full clear i'm just gonna smite this to speed it up because once you get level two your attack speed and you get two cycles ability is really important so here what's really important is understanding your passive and how it works it pretty much gives you attack speed buff whenever you cast a spell and also empowers your next few autos for extra attack speed and also your passive gives you the whole third strike hit right so whenever i use it it will give me this like third one two three attack right so very important very important you always want to utilize that when you're clearing and you want to make sure you're sort of you want to cycle some abilities you don't have to cycle too many but you just want to cycle for example when i start this camp i'll do with q auto once e auto again and then w right i'm kind of like cycling all my spells out i'm not really spamming them just to get my passive attack speed you know as fully as long as possible here i can always start the next camp and then e and then go to this one as well use my passive auto to help me finish that off this is a little thing i like to do just because of how fast you are you don't even have to worry about anything really so here olaf did three camp into bot side right so good for him it doesn't really concern me nor should it concern you listen if you get your full clear off i'm gonna have a full clear at like three tenths and i'm just really happy to fight and get something going here So here I want to fight. So what we're going to do is walk in with Camille. And once Camille goes in, we have a nice angle here. We're going to go on Lucian, start with Q. Hit him with that. Auto. And go on the Braum next. They're very simple. I think I can hit my Q on Lucian. So what we do is cast it. And once you hit them, you mark them with the Moonlight. Auto, E, and then auto. And then you get like another dash, right? Because every time you dash to the Moonlight passive, you get the free one. Very good. Very important. And there, I'm pretty much happy with what I did. So what I'm going to do is, I know Olaf's top side. I'm going to check his raptor. His raptors are respawning. Remember, we have vision on that. So I'm going to make sure to clear that. I'm going to drop a ward here because I'm going to see him on the return. And we're going to get a second raptors, right? The second raptors, well, your jungle camp you start will always respawn around four minutes, okay? And what we know is that we know Olaf started... Well, he started Raptors, so the second Raptors will always come at four minutes. Jungle Knowledge will help you a lot. Also, the reason I don't take a second Krugs here is because I do not... I want to be there for Void Grubs. I don't care about the second Krugs as much. Here, I kind of like doing this buy. Just get the movement speed, the 5%. I, I personally find it to be very effective movement speed. It's good to buy this too if you just outright buy, but if you can get this plus like an Amtone, I think it's more valuable than just buying this outright. So here we get the move speed, and we, we do want to play for Void Grubs. If I can get level 5 before Void Grubs, I'm happy. So I'm going to do Krugs. I'm going to smite Krugs, actually, just so I can get level 5. Because I think if I have a level advantage, I'm much more likely to win against the Olaf. This is reworked Olaf, so I don't know exactly how strong he is. I mean, I assume with Tom Kench we win. So I'm pretty happy with just going in here. I think if he's not on it, then I'm going to be on it. I think he's just doing some jungle camps. Human Award just to give us some vision there. And here you always want to use your reset with your auto passive. Here I'm always using it. Q, E, stuff like that. And we, it looks like Olaf is not here, so we're pretty happy. And my early game goal right now is to just farm and gank when it's good for me. Going for that Fiora, not really... Well, I could go for that Fiora, but I think it's a pretty much... It goes against the current, right? And what I mean by that, it goes against my uh 
my farm, right? If you look at all my jungle camps up, raptors, wolves, grom, my direction is down. And I don't think it's worth it for me to like interrupt my direction. So I'm just going to keep going here. I want to know if they're on dragon because I think we can fight if they're on dragon. Because champions like Olaf get very low when they're on dragon. But unfortunately, we weren't able to capitalize on that. I still would like to fight. So I'm going to just ping my team to let them know that we can probably do something if they're greedy. And I think Olaf will stay. So we're just going to check to see if Olaf is, you know, maybe greedy for a camp here. Maybe Olaf wants to fight me personally. Yeah, he's a whole Olaf is here. Or he was here. So we're going to keep an eye on that. There's no ward here yet. Here I think Olaf's behind him. So I'm not going to go until I have Camille. But I think we can win now. I think we could win that fight, but... We're a bit scared there. Oh, I don't know how we're missing everything. No flash to any spells. Um, my team kind of left me out to dry there, but Grom should die. The rest of the lads are going in. They're going in. Zed, Zed's going in. Zed's going in. Annie, no flash. I flash her R. Here we want Lich Bane. We're actually really close. So we're going to wait and continue watching the, this epic brawl down here. Olaf's going to be on a respawn, so I don't want them to die. And pretty much I'm just waiting for Lich Bane. My build is Lich Bane into Storm Surge. I find it to be very broken. I just like this build a lot. It gives you a lot of burst potential. There is a Nasher's build too, where you can go Nasher's AP or you can go Nasher's into tank. I think both are options that you can utilize. Up to you. This game, I, I like to be like one shot, you know? I just like to be a, a giga chat. I'm also very unlucky. The kill didn't give me kill experience there. So here, pretty much, I'm going to farm my red. And I see Olaf bot side, so... I'm probably going to take, like, maybe his blue or something. So I'm going to do the crab, and then I'll probably do the blue afterwards. And the blue, the crab just gives me, you know, like, a possible ex escape as well. So it's a nice one to get. And I don't think there's necessarily going to be wards here. So I think I'm safe. His grump should be up. The grump is here. Interesting. Here with Tom coming, he might try to fight me. So I actually want to just fight him here fast. I'm actually able to save me and my boy here. Hmm. This is a dicey one. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to farm a bit. Dyna W shield allows you to kind of heal very easily. Oh, good roam, Braum. A really good roam, by, by the way, Braum. That was an incredible roam. You should keep doing that. Supports who roam like that, even before Void Grubs, is, like, actually just filthy. Like, he's roaming there to try to protect Olaf camps. But, like, he needs to get... He needs to get help, you know? That's not worth it. Now I'm healed up again, so I can easily kill Olaf on his wolves. And with my boy o Zed here, we're gonna drop down the shadow. I can kite around here. Kill the Annie here. Oh, it's actually so dicey. Olaf needs to die, though. Oh, I went too far. It's warded there. Should have looked. Psychotic. This game is psychotic. I was hoping my Zed was going to come my way and we were going to plant over and one-shot Olaf. But my Zed was like... I don't think he understood the situation that much. There was no blue up, so he's not going to be on blue there. He's most likely going to go to the wolf camp. But yeah, I mean, you're doing plays. You don't really know how your team's going to react. So it's like a question. You don't really have to do stuff like that. I just like to fight because I'm strong, right? And so, And I think you should learn to fight. Because naturally, you're just going to get better at the game the more you kind of, like, go psychotic mode. You know, it's just really important to know, like, your limitations, right? Knowing 
when it's like, oh shit, I have no damage and stuff like that. I don't think I can help this guy. Maybe the dive though, after. Fight it out, right? I don't want to, I want to, want to go in again after. You see how I kind of engaged, but I didn't all in, right? That's important because I know if I all in, an Olaf and Braum will just one shot me. But I know Zed is coming, so I, I sort of play around that option, right? I, I just get, you know, the party going and really play around that. And very important to know how to do that and just practice that as much as possible. Here, Annie could flash Tibbers me. The reason why I'm not pulling it out. Oh my god, I actually got one shot them. Was because I want them to come so we can fight. Here they're actually going to tank it, which is good because they are not in the position to win. Kaiza's R, she should be fine. Good fight, guys. Good fight. You kill Diana. At what cost, though? See, I'm willing to die for the greater good. And also, Idrwis, very good. Very good component. We're happy about these kind of itemization decisions. Yours actually quite strong, so she's on my Krugs. We should fight. Mm. She's so fast. Might Q into me, but... Pretty happy with just getting the grubbies here. I think they want to fight us, which is good. It just seems like they only have one... Mode. And that's the fight. And I mean, that's only Olaf mentality too, right? That's pretty normal. You have to watch for like the viewer and make sure the viewer doesn't like sneak up on me. And I'm pretty happy. I've got the void grubs. Pretty happy about that. Now I'll probably stop playing Super Psycho. I'll just go farm a bit. I could make plays, but also I feel like you know this is like one of those games I don't necessarily need to do anything like crazy yet. And there's nothing like highlighting on the map for me that says, okay, Nori, go do this. Like I could invade here and try to fight Olaf, but why would I invade there when? You know the Fiora is really strong. I don't want to play where they're strong. There was a chance to kill Fiora when she was like walking here. That's when I know like, okay, she's overextending. Plus I have like a really good vibe. But otherwise, I just don't think it's possible. Here I think she'll go for tower, right? So this is like another time like, well, well she might be overextending, right? She queues in, we can go. And here we have Tom R. Oh shit. I have W. Oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I see you there. Not bad, not bad. I was trying to bait her W out, but she just never W'd. But it kind of worked out. Olaf's boss side, so I could greedily, like, stay here. I could be greedy here and stay. Because I, I can heal up really fast as a jungler, especially, like, Diana. I could just do crab. Not much threat going on. I'm checking blue fast. Ward here. And maybe if I want to do Herald, I can do Herald. But Braum is checking, so we don't really want to do Herald here now. This guy is a sacrifice I am willing to make, but... He's a mighty sacrifice I'm willing to make. Get the ward, get the ward! I really don't want to base when I have, like, I'm close to my item, so I'm just going to keep keep my pressure going here. Olaf's dead, but I'm not going for Olaf. I'm just getting in my camps. My jungle camps are very important for me and for you. Now I do have my item, and there's nothing left to farm, so what do we do here? We base, yeah? Base is good. I mean, that shutdown of yours is huge. Whether it's played correctly or perfectly doesn't matter. What's important is to kill her. Now, once you hit this two-item spike, you're like, God. You're so fast, which is what I find to be very important on Diana. Without the proto belt that you used to build, it's like you need movement speed because you need to get the E range. And you need to be fast to find these sort of like flank positions. Afterwards, you can get like Zhonya's death cap and stuff like that. But 
you really do need that kind of like flank position. So here I feel like I would just outright win. This guy's like Ravnus Hydra Olaf. So I think I could beat him in a fight. I don't know how strong this new Olaf is, but I just don't think Olaf is that strong as a champion. Like he's quite weak right now, so I feel good. I just feel good about fighting him. Here they want to do dragon, that's fine. I'm gonna stay around my team. I don't want to do Herald here because I want to see if they're gonna do dragon or not. If they're doing dragon, we should stop them. Also think they're gonna go for Tom Kench here. So while they're distracted by my big boy Tom, I'm gonna just do the blue and then look for a flank. So here I'm gonna ping my team to let them know we should fight when they all in here. Here I think we should be able to get a fight. Here I'm gonna Q and E. I could engage, but at the same time, I don't have Zhonya to go for like a crazy engage. But I could also bait them out here. I don't really want to all in yet. I kind of missed my E cooldown timer too. I could have one shot him, but Braum E is kind of OP. God. And that's just like the R flash combo. Very nicely done by me. If I have my Q up, it's even more beautiful if you get to see it in action when I R flash on top of them. Bon appetit. Very beautiful gameplay. And yeah, from there, I'm going to just keep doing my jungle camps and farming and make sure we get whatever we need to. Here, I'm going to finish the dragon. Generally, you want to last hit these sort of objectives because they give you bonus experience from your jungle item. So like Void Grubs, Dragon, Herald, you always want to last hit it. Plus, it gives you the gold too. So just for you to remember, always last hit it. Here, we sort of go into farm mode again. Purge as much jungle as possible. And now we're going to reset. So here, I decide on what I need. Should have actually farmed a bit more for Zhonya's, but we're going to be going into Zhonya's next. It's just essential for how we play and our play style. We really need Zhonya's. It's really important for us. So we just want to play around that. Storm's, Storm Surge is really good because of the phase rush passive it gives when you burst on. Makes it very, very powerful. Here, I'm going to look to flank here. Probably pink. Get a Q on this guy. Q, auto, W. I feel like I should be able to chase him down here. Oh. Might get called here. Oh, that was out of spite. I really didn't like that Braum. Really didn't like him. Didn't need to do that. Probably shouldn't do that in a real game. When I'm serious. But nonetheless, it's, a, it's to prove a point. Sometimes you need to prove a point too. Okay, Tom, I see you. I see you. Mm. I mean, a lot of jungle is just early to mid game. You really have to do your most, the most you can in that kind of phase. Like, it's not like this point isn't important, but like, of, of course, like it sets the tone, right? You need to really focus, like for you all, really focus on that early to mid game. If you're sort of able to mimic my play style, like early to mid, you're really going to excel like you've never done before. Here, I thought someone was here, so I was going to go check the Baron. We can actually do Baron extremely fast as a Diana, just to show you. When Baron's up, you always have a Baron angle. Just be the one not tanking it. I'll show you how fast we can do it. So if I'm not tanking, Tom is tanking here. My passive does 500 damage, so extremely broken. And we saw Olaf boss side, right? So that's like a lot of the conditions met. I'm pretty happy with it. And here, we're able to get that down. Go for the R. Beautiful Wombo. Combo. Dondo. Get the Annie Tibbers too. Revenge of the... The Tibbers. 
Yeah, I mean, that's just a good play. Why did I do Barons? What were the conditions met? I saw Olaf bot side. I am a champion that can just one-shot Baron as well. Here I charge with my passive. And then I just E in auto. Usually if you have your E, your second E should always be sort of used if the enemy team is too far away or you're sort of ready to burst them down. In that situation, Fjord is low. I have my passive charged up. I use my second E, W, auto, passive, one shot. Very simple, very easy, very OP. Yeah, I think Dying is extremely good right now and going to like a Zhonya's is always going to be very good for you. It's okay to have fun every now and then when you're playing the game like maybe you get bored you want to fight a bit but generally you should have you know you should know what you need to be doing to win right like you your conditions to win should not really change all that much you really they have to be there and they have to be ready to capitalize on and that's a big thing like i generally obviously know how I should play to win but there's different ways to win i think people have the misconception that you have to do this you have to play this way to win no there's so many different ways you can be winning but objectives are key and you're never going to do much winning if you're not impacting all that much here i'm gonna see if i can flank on the Lucian. It looks like they're all lost already but if you're not strong enough to do anything then you're never gonna win or carry so here i have blue pokemon if he throws another axe we can go on him He's very cute that he thinks he can win that. Oh my god, he almost bursted me there. But I do have Zonia's and W. See, I don't think if I was to play Olaf, I would go Stride Breaker or something different. Not Ravnus Hydra. Not Ravnus Hydra at all. And yeah, Dyna has a condition where her Baron's super fast. Her objective one-shotting is super fast because of her passive. So if that's a thing, then, well... We always want to utilize what tools our champion has. Dyna is really good at, you know, side laning too, right? She can take towers with this build. Very, these like sort of like conditions that are relatively unique to my champion. I should try to utilize when I can. Same thing when I play like Briar, when I play Rek'Sai, they have much different ways to win the game. They have different options. Like Briar can't really take towers. She has to really play around her team. So you always have to play more around your team. And Diana, you're able to kind of split push and push waves really fast. So you have more options to realistically just do different things. Here, my build would be like Voice Off, Death Gap, or like whatever other item. You have a free item you want to add to it. You can add to it as well. It's relatively flexible. Oh my god, I actually got one shot by Diana. What? So here I decide on what I want to build. Do I need Void? In a situation where we have a lot of magic damage and they're building MR, we'd go Void. Because they're not going Void or MR, we will most likely go... We're most likely going to go Death Cap in this situation. So that's going to be our build path here. Okay, okay. I mean, Fjord is getting a bit strong, so uh, uh, that is a bit of a concern we have to focus on. I'm quite good at killing Fjord, but... Yeah. It could still be an issue later on. But you never really stop farming. You slow down on your farm. You know, depending on the situation, but truly you're never really going to stop farming. Yeah, not having heal cut is a problem when you're trying to kill Fiora. You're, you know, Dyna has really, really insane AP ratios, so... You're, you're always going to be able to one-shot people very easily. Here, Tom Ken shouldn't really be splitting anymore. I should just be the one pushing waves with Tom Ken behind me, and the reason being is... is because I can just kind of get the wave instantly pushed while also baiting a potential fight. Plus, I can take outers as well, so I'm going to go for this tower. He should just sort of be like my shield. Here, 
Here, I don't mind going on these two. I'm gonna Zarnia's the damage. Probably go on Lucian after. Ooh. Would love that. Would, would have loved some help there, Tom, but. I do have Flash. I, there were some situations where I could have played around Flash, but I was hoping to kill Olaf first. And then we could, you know, mess around with the Flash out of, uh, out of any range or something like that. And Storm Surge is really good because it gives you movement speed when you proc it. Which is actually very strong for, it's kind of like a mini phase rush. Which is pretty good for Diana. And yeah, that looks like it might be the game. Maybe not though. Camille. Either way, I'm gonna go kill Fiora here. I don't have Zonia's though. That's like my counter to Fiora. But maybe she has no abilities of. Hmm, again. Problem is, I can't go on her. If I have Zonia's, I can easily kill her. Oh, I was thinking about flashing, but so close yet so far. There's no way Zed loses that. It's impossible. No. Oh my god, thank god. There was no way I, Zed was going to lose that. I I, I, I refuse to believe it. There I should have just queued the, die, or queued the Fiora first. And Death Cap should help me a lot. It gives me much higher shield value as well. Well, I think he's kind of trolling. Hmm. The lads are kind of trolling there. Before Dragon Soul. I, mean, I could book it all the way, but I think Dragon dead. D E A I D. But maybe I can kill them after, is what I'm thinking. Definitely going to be a fight afterwards. I have everything up, so I'm pretty confident I'll kill them. I need to get this Annie, though. Annie's a bit of a problem. Oh, bro. Stun into stun, man. I didn't know where Annie was, so I kind of like hail married my way in there. But that's Fiora TP. That's a big one because Fiora TP is a very, very important ability that can be very annoying to play against too. Because she's going to use a split push. Her win con is to generally just split push. I still think we win fights. Obviously, I know who I need to one shot, right? If I can just one shot her with this build, it's actually extremely easy to one shot her. So I, I'm just most likely going to go on her. She doesn't have Zonias as well. Even without hitting Q, I have the damage to just like E on her, R, W, and one shot. The stunning part is it's a bit of a concern for sure, but... You know, I'm, qu I'm quite satisfied that I can kill her. If Braum isn't there, yes, I'm quite satisfied. I think Camille and Zed should be able to deal with her. Usually I go and help them deal with split pushers, but because Baron's up, I, I think I just trust that they can do it. Oh my god, they actually one shot me. I should pink here, yeah. I was hoping to pink the brush. I don't think I'm going to build MR though, because the only person whose AP is actually the Annie. So we're going to have to kind of up our game to deal there. And by that, I mean just sit back and wait for her to go in.
At this point, I'm saving up for like Void or Banshees, maybe. Might go Banshees, though. Maybe just sit on some MR, but I feel like it doesn't make a difference, so I'm just gonna max my AP. Oh god. What? Camille one shots that? It's insane to me. Here, I really don't want this wave to be a problem for us, so I'm just gonna push it fast. But I feel pretty good about killing them here, like Annie, for example. Lasagna's here. E onto the Annie if I need to. Oh my god, I actually got obliterated by Olaf. I could have flashed out too, but I'm pretty happy I got the Annie. If I'm trying to sell my thing, I'm trying to sell for a Void component. Whether I want Crypto Bloom, whether I want Void Staff, either way, I'm getting the component. I can't really do much about Bromstone. So my only thing is to just not get tagged by him. I would have to flash out and then avoid fighting them. But in that situation, I'd rather save my flash for the dragon fight that comes up in one minute. See, people, what they do a lot too is they, they kind of like grief. Like they use everything right before dragon. And then like when dragon comes up, like where's your flash? Where's your R? And especially like a dragon soul fight. You know, it's, it's more important if you can just save it for, like, you know, like the objective. You do want them summoners for like the dragon. And the dragon soul very important and for this game i mean both are pretty good honestly hard to say which one i prefer kind of need the camille bot side we could also just fight them on mid wave I'm gonna try to end the game now. One shot in the Lucian was just free. I had no problem doing that. Here I'm gonna Q once for the Lucian main auto. Two, three, W. I'm gonna go for the end now. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna mess around a bit here. Oh shit. Okay, maybe. Maybe I didn't need to. Maybe I should have messed around a bit. That was any flash. A oh, good timer though. Good timer. <laughs> oh, I should have got a 1 HP at least. I could have ended it there. The flash on Lucian, you see how... You know, if he flashed out again... I, I was waiting for him to flash, and that's why I was like not doing anything. Because if he flashed, I could have just flashed E afterwards. Or just have my second dash rotation. I could have ended the game there, but... <sighs> I just want to give you guys another fight. I want to see, give you guys that Dragon Soul. And that beautiful Dragon Soul you crave. They 100% could have one shot it. I'm not sure why they waited. Bro, it was like Dragon was up that whole time and they were just like watching. I mean, I'll deal with Fiora. Seems like Fiora is a problem that they're not able to deal with. And we could probably dash on Annie here because she has no flash. She has no Zonia's yet. So what my goal is to just dash on Annie and one-shot her. And I think I might get it. So you always queue the minion, the range one. Gives you a dash reset. Sack your passive as well. I'm just looking for Annie. If I can get on Annie, no matter who's in round me, it's very good. And now Zonia's in. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh my god, he actually killed me. What? Oh, Olaf full items is kind of nuts, though. End the game, lads. End the game. All right, GG. Hope you guys liked that video. That was Diana Jungle. I think she's really OP. Okay. And yeah, I hope you guys had a good time. Good luck in your games. Good luck in the climb. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.